Good, Good morning, morning everybody. everybody. Welcome to Wake Up Missoula. My name is Noel McAvoy. And I'm Scott Ramps. And that was Asaph Adonai on piano. Asaph, what song is that? That is called Deo the Banana Boat Song. Nice, <laughs> nice. It's a, it's a good one. Nice. Yeah. Thank you very much, Asaph. Sure, well, good yeah. morning, everyone. It is Friday, TGIF. Um, I know, I'm really happy. It's going to be a great day. It's going to be great. And of course, yeah. TGAF. TGIAF is no longer here, which no. was Wednesday. Which was Wednesday. But of course, today is TGIF, which I'm happy to say is going to look beautiful. It is. And you can expect your highs to be 78 degrees outside. It should be sunny. Tonight's going to be mostly clear with a high of 48, with a low of 48 degrees. Ooh. That's your low. That's, it's going to be a nice night. Time to go sleeping outside. And then, of course, yep. Saturday, you can expect some uh, slight chance of thunderstorms because as the weather gets a little bit warmer, there's more, a little more static in the air. And why not? There's a lot of electricity in the air today um, with our morning show. <laughs> Whoa, we're electric! Yep. But, of course, <laughs> um, this month marks the uh, uh, it's natural, National Poetry Month. Oh. And, I, uh, and, I'm gonna, and I made a special little poetry that kind of encompasses um, spring, spring and the transition into the summer. So without further ado, here is Hallmark or Poetry Mark. <laughs> 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 All right, anyways, are you guys ready? Let's head it ASAP. As the sun rises on a valley town, the only way to tune in is to tune out. With the snow becoming a memory and the warm glow becoming a certainty, we look outside instead of in, we let the world take us as we are. The rays of light become our new sweater and we let the spring be our board to the summer. Nice, Scott. Very nice. I love that. What? Round of applause. <laughs> Very good, Scott. I love that. Written by Anonymous. No, that was written by you. <laughs> oh, okay. It was written by me. You did a really good Anonymous. Job. Anonymous, Scott. <laughs> Anonymous. Scott. <laughs> well, since it's Poetry Month, I've written a lot of poetry over the years, like being an emo high schooler and then, you know, as I get older. <laughs> but um, I'm going to read you guys some poetry, and not today, because I didn't know that we were going to do this. But Monday. Monday and next week, I'll read you guys some poetry that I have written. Yeah. I just yes. I just learned about National Poetry Month the other day when I was yeah. reading, reading, reading The Independent. Yeah. Reading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's but awesome. of course, um, you can read, or you can just log on to um, Wake Up Missoula wix.com slash wake up missoula so nice for me to write it out to us to find out more information about our show and our guests that come on our show by going on to videos and you get to also see some amazing content to the right and some interviews to the left and then of course if you want to see our posts on be sure to like us on our Facebook page, and of course, you can always follow us on our Twitter page at Wake Up Missoula. Missoula Community Access Television has a Twitter page. You can like us at MCAT TV Missoula. Missoula Community Access Television also has a Facebook page, so you can check us out on Facebook. But to find out more information about us, to check out videos and everything, just go to MCAT.org. Yep. And of course, uh, tomorrow is our Saturday drop-in, so if you're a kid aged 9 to 13, or you know of a kid aged 9 to 13, you can come in between 1 and 5, or you can come in for 2 hours and then either leave early, um, you can come at 1 and go leave at 3, or you come at 3 and leave at 5, and that's half price, which is $5, full price is $10 for 4 hours of stop animation fun and great videos, and we also do some live action stuff for um, some of the kids who, you know, want to, you know, want to branch out or want to, like, be creative. Yeah, get uh, Burnt out. Sometimes, you know, stop motion is very tedious, and children these days don't have a very long attention span, so sometimes they get burnt out yep. and they want to do run around and make a video. So we do that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, arts and crafts, it's a good time. Yep, but of course, I have um, we have uh, one brand new program that's okay. happening tonight on MCAT, and it's the Wilderness Issues Lecture Series, and I believe it's part three of a forever ongoing series, just <laughs> as much as the uh, Montana. Book festival. Book festival, yeah. But of course, uh, <laughs> here's a little tease, and when we come back, I want to talk a little bit more about um, what's happening in May involving Give Local. Oh, cool. Great. And that was, the political pressures there were just huge. And it took an immense amount of time and effort and courage and political maneuvering to get the wolves in. If that were a trust, they would basically <laughs> do it. I, I mean, they, they, had to, they consult with the biological science, sci scientists. They would have some on staff, of course. They say, look, our elk are way, way, way out of hand. 
uh, we need a way to control them. We can't, and you, I assume it's set up, we could probably set up, we'll not have allow hunting in the park. All right, so that's what's new tonight at 9.30 cool. on MCAT. Well, so let's talk about what's going to be happening. This, so this month, um, I've been interviewing a lot of uh, nonprofits. Uh, not really interviewing, they've been making PSAs, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. So one of the um, um, nonprofit organizations is the Missoula City Band. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the videos that they did is like he... Gary Gillette and our very own Ron Scholl, they went out and filmed it. So they went to uh, Bonner Park and um, yeah, they went out and filmed this. And of course, it's mostly self-explanatory. And um, Give Local is a, an event that's happening May 3rd. And we're also going to be live for the morning show on May 3rd, which is a Tuesday. What? Yeah, we won't do Wednesday show May 4th, but we'll do a Tuesday May 3rd show. Yeah, well, we better Give tell Lori about this. Too. Yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's watching. Maybe, <laughs> Maybe, Maybe she she's... knows. <laughs> Guess what, Lori? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're uh, it's gonna be uh, we're gonna be live at like eight in the morning. We haven't ironed out the details too much, mm -hmm. but we're pretty um, solid on doing a live cut in for Wake Up Missoula from eight to nine yep. um, on May third, which is a Tuesday. And of course, then we have another cut in from eleven to three, which is being hosted by uh, Mark Haka and Susan Hay Patrick. We'll be okay. doing a hosting type of show, and then that night we're gonna be doing another live cut in from six to eight. So I'm gonna be basically kind of full like day. doing that full day thing yeah. and also getting some clips and it's gonna be uh, like an extravaganza of give local it's like a extreme tell us telethon but it's like more like internet but like internet thon yeah and so, and so, forth. <laughs> so I have a couple PSAs I'll probably and you'll probably be seeing a whole bunch of PSAs on channel 189 throughout the month of April leading up to the big event May 3rd all day, 24 hour uh, online giving fest to all the nonprofits here in town. Yep. So give local and try not to take nationally. <laughs> <laughs> but without further ado, here is a little, uh, this is one of the first PSAs that were ever made for give local by our very own Ron Schultz. never gonna end. We, we were not sure when it was gonna end. That was, it was, you should have seen us behind here. It was pretty funny. It was kind of ridiculous. Yeah. 
But good morning, everyone. This is what's going on in your community. So what I have today, I have events for you and your children, stuff for you to get your kids out of school. It's still spring break, so get them out, get them active, and then I have music for the evening. So kid events and music events for your Friday. So first, at 9 a.m. over at Peaceful Heart Yoga, we've got the parent yoga, so it's yoga for you and your children. So if you don't have any childcare and want to get involved in a yoga class, you can go in there, 9 a.m., bring your kid in there and do yoga, and if you need to attend to your child, you totally can. And I actually met the woman that does this, and I asked her, you know, some details about the class, and she said that it's really nice that because the environment is dim and it's low and it's kind of like a chill yoga environment, all the kids are uh, act the same way as well. There are a couple that, like, get crazy, but for the most part, she said that the kids really um, try to do yoga as well or else it's really chill. That's kind of nice. So it's a good thing to do. Bring your kids. Um, so it's only $3 to $10, it's a sliding fee scale. It's at 9 a.m., uh, 9 to 9.45 every Friday, and then every Wednesday is 1 to 1.45. Over at the Missoula YMCA, they've got their family fun time at the Y. It starts at 9.30. Uh, there's lots of activities for kids, softy hockey, scooters, basketball, fun activities, and bounce houses, and then there are nice comfy chairs and couches for the parents to chill and sit and relax. It's included in your membership, or else it's $17 for a family without a membership. Over at Mismo Gymnastics, we've got Family Fun Time at 9.30. This is the open gym for ages walking to 12 years. Um, and they just, you know, have all the fun gym things that you could want at a trampoline gym. So they've got um, trampolines and foam pits and obstacle courses and, yeah, all that fun stuff. And then Tiny Tales is at the Missoula Public Library at 10.30. This is, is um, a, so this is for birth through 36 months birth through three years. They sing songs, they learn finger plays, they hear nursery rhymes, and hear stories. And then we have a family story time at 1030, also at the Missoula Public Library. This is for a bit of an older crowd, um, and it's a theme story, th themed story with songs and an art activity. Over at Roots Acro Sports Center, they've got their preschool playgroup. So this is for ages walking to five years. Or 60 the, months. Yeah, <laughs> walking to 60 months. For you crazy parents out there <laughs> who can't do years. Yeah. My child is 121 months. Oh my god, it's so fetch. <laughs> yeah, it's so silly. Um, yeah, so this is walking to five years. They set up different activities and stations around the gym, and then children and parents get to choose and rotate what they want to do. Over the Children's Museum of Missoula, they've got Story Stomp at 11. They hear a story, and then they're going to act it out, too. That's awesome. I know. That sounds great. And then over at Disco uh, Spectrum Discovery area, Discovery Branch is Fractals, and their brain lab are glowing cells. And then over at Taste Buds Kitchen, they still have the Spring Break Around the World Camp for ages 9 to 13, starting at $1. $45 per day just to drop in, and they're making different dishes from all around the world in different countries. Over the public library, they've got their teen writers group. Uh, this is a writing group for ages about 13 to 18. And so you get and give good feedback and get some inspiration and play with words and eat some chocolate and just hang out. Mm. Every day, every Friday, 3.30 to 5.30. And then we have spider feeding over at the Missoula Butterfly House and Insectarium at four. They feed Rosie the Chilean rosehair tarantula. And then at the Missoula Public Library, they've got Intro to Java Programming for Teens. It starts at 5, um, and that's for those are ages 13 to 18. So you can call 721-2665 to register for more information. I like the, um, you know. Oh. Ooh. Where are we? Okay. There I am. Hi, guys. <laughs> uh, so, um, you know, Java is a great program script, but also the story behind Java is a high school dropout made Java. Oh, cool. And he made millions of dollars yeah. from it. And everybody uses Java. Mm -hmm. So, you know, be careful if you let your teens do Java and don't mention that story about the person yeah. dropping out of high school and doing that. Yeah, for real. Yeah. <laughs> but that's so. all I have to say about Java. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Um, over at the Zutan Arts Community Center, they've got a couple things going on. They have a free silk screening night starting at 5.30. A no charge, just donation, and then bring by something that you want to silk screen. 
And then also at the Zootown Arts Community News Center and also at 5.30, they've got their annual Last Best Print Fest. This mm. is the fifth annual. And so it's an annual event um, and it showcases Montana's printmakers who are participating in this year's um, portfolio exchange and it's based on the theme Metamorphosis. So it's pretty much, yeah, so it's all the great printmakers of Missoula and Montana coming together in a gallery space. So that's awesome. They also have Montana Youth Printmakers. They'll have their artwork on the hall, um, the artwork on display in the hallway gallery. It's free and open to the public and it starts at 5.30. And so now we've got some music for going on for tonight. So now you can drop your kids off at home or else bring them along with you until 9 o'clock because youth kids are allowed in the bars until 9. So MZ Music is over at Missoula Brewing Company at 6. They're rock and roll. Traditional Irish Music at the Union Club at 6. Crashers are at the Montana Distillery at 6. They're, always, they're also Irish Music. Um, over the top at Lounge is Family Friendly Friday, Friday, and we've got Brent Jameson at six. If you guys don't know what Family Friendly Friday is, um, it's just it's music and it's uh, food and it's dancing. It's a fun activity to get the parents out and you know they can have some drinks and socialize, and then you your children can socialize too and go crazy and run around. But if you are in your twenties and want to go on a date, don't go to the top out on a Friday night for a date. That'd be terrible. Oh, yeah. Well, unless you want, you know, to never have kids again. Unless you never either, yeah, never want to have kids again. Or, like, maybe just don't really like your date. Or you just, you know, like, you like, you two are sadists who like making fun of people with kids. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, look at them. They must be crazy. <laughs> Those little brats. Or yeah. uh, it's or also that. a red flag if your girlfriend brings you to the Family Friendly Fridays. Yes. It's like, isn't she so cute? Oh, look, he's cute, oh, too. Oh, I want one. <laughs> <laughs> like, Wait, isn't this our second date? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do not go to Top Hat on a Friday night for a date. Nope. Unless, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so now we've got a quick little movie break between music over the uh, Missoula Public Library. There's Worldwide Cinema. This uh, April's film is called Secrets of War. It's from the Netherlands. It starts at 7 in the large meeting room. And then we go back to music. Over at University Congressional Church, they've got Celtic Harps, Rare Instruments, and Wondrous Stories. So a couple is coming from San Francisco. Um, they both have toured extensively, have successful recording performing careers, and they've been... Uh, had years of street performing and background as rock musicians. So now they're gonna play some Celtic harps and rare instruments and play it. Here's some wonderful stories. That sounds great. That's a 7:30. And then we've got Zeppa Montana um, over at the Union Club at 9:30. Troublesome. It will be at the Sunrise Saloon at 9:30. And then Jameson and Sword Seas will be at the Top Hat Lounge at 10. Yeah. That's what I've got for you going on on Friday. Up next is ASAP. Day oh. <laughs> Day oh. <laughs> I'm no singer, but this is such a cool song. The name of that song is called Day O, the Banana Boat Song. It's from an album called Calypso in 1956. It became the first LP in the world to sell over one million copies within a year. Also, it's the first million selling album ever in England. And the album also was number four on Billboard's Top 100 album. And on the list, it spent 31 weeks at number one, 58 weeks at um, the top 10, and 99 weeks in the US charts. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. That one album, Calypso, um, and it had a bunch of songs on there, but the Dale Banana Boat song was the signature song for our guest. Our guest is Harold George Belafonte Jr., known to the world as Harry Belafonte. And <laughs> there he is on the album cover there. Harry Belafonte is with us still. He's an American singer, songwriter, actor, social activist. He's one of the most successful Caribbean American pop stars in history called the King of Calypso. And you know, he popularized Caribbean music in the 1950s. And I talked about the aforementioned Calypso album in 1956 with his signature song, iconic song, Dale, the Banana Boat song. Also, Belafonte, um, he's a supporter of the civil rights movement in the 1950s and 60s. In 1987, 
He uh, worked with UNICEF and became the UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. And finally, you can see him singing in this clip, see how young he was then, introducing that song. And he introduced a song called Jamaica Farewell and some other songs in that time period in his life when he was in his heyday here. And he's done concerts throughout his lifetime. Finally, this is pretty impressive. And Scott, I think you'll like this. He won three Grammy Awards, and he also won a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. He's won a Tony Award. In 1989, he received the Kennedy Center's Honors. He also received the National Medal of Arts in 1994, and in 2014, he received the Jean Hershaw Humanitarian Award at the Academy's Sixth Annual Governor's Awards. And finally, in 2014, would they say it's never too late, he was awarded an honorary doctorate from Berkeley College of Music in Boston. Wow. Isn't hmm. that something? Cool. So it's never too late. Yeah. That's He's got a doctorate, it. and he didn't. He just had to perform. He didn't have to go to school. Nice. No, he just <laughs> got honorary award. doctorate is yeah. so nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, I need so, one of those. Yeah, I need, to, I need to be able to sing. Yeah. Of course, this man spent his whole life singing. He even got his start singing in nightclubs to take acting classes. Oh yeah, nightclubs for sure. when he was very young before that I bet, album came out. I bet out. he was a really exciting act in nightclubs. Yeah, when he, he was younger, he was a big hit. Yeah, I bet he was. And, cool. Uh, he is eighty nine now. Wow. And he's probably just he'll make appearances here and there, and mm -hmm. probably do like more humanitarian stuff. Mm -hmm. But he left the world some great. Calypso Caribbean music. Yeah, he did. And he's got a good looking daughter named Sherry, too. Ooh, Sherry. <laughs> Sherry, yeah, Sherry, baby. Yeah. Sherry. She, she started a show called Hotel with Betty Davis. Oh, oh can you believe that? Hmm. I'm talking about his daughter, so. Yeah. Harry Belafonte left us some great stuff, and your audience can check him out anytime. Awesome. Thanks, Asaph. Thank sure. you. I was at Musical Notes with Asaph Adonai. And, and now, when we come back, we'll um, we'll show you our clip. But and when we come back, we'll have Saturday events, yep. maybe even Sunday events. No, no, no Sunday. Just events. Saturday. Yeah, I Saturday. looked on Sunday and I was like, ah, it's three events. Really yeah. Because I know, I did look on there the other day, and Ed Norton Big Band's going to be playing. Mm -hmm. They'll be playing at the Vineyard, Missoula Vineyard. Um, but yeah, I looked, and there are actually a lot of stuff going on on Sunday. But no, I don't know, it's always just kind of like yeah. stuff that's usually going on. Nothing too special, I guess. Right. So this is more stuff. Um, I've been showing this over and over again, but of course this is from the Missoula Art Museum, and this will be playing until the um, end of May, and this is uh, Ginny DeWeiss, De The Process of Painting. Okay, so this is what's going on in your community um, on Saturday. And this, is, this isn't any specific, we've just got kind of got general events. Uh, so we've got our Missoula Winter Public Market at 10 a.m. over at the Hive. Um, and then also at 10 a.m. over at the Mi Open Way Mindfulness Center, they have a class, it's an all-day workshop on effective workplace communication. 
Um, so Amy Ryan and Patrick Marsalek will be the ones that are hosting this and teaching you guys. And so it'll be practice learning and practicing skills to support effective workplace communication, efficient collaboration, and creative decision making. You can register at www.innerworkingsresource.com slash workplace and then call 443-3439 for more information. Uh, Open Way Center is located at 702 Brook Street. This class goes from 10 to Friday to, or 10 to 4 tomorrow and it's $80. Over at the Missoula Butterfly House in the Insectarium, they've got cockroach, mage cockroach mazes. So starting at 11, they are going to uh, test their cockroaches' learning abilities by creating simple mazes for them. Which, that sounds really fun. I'm going to do that. That's cray cray. Yeah, that's pretty cockroachy. <laughs> that's okay. Papa Roachy. That's <laughs> <laughs> Over at the Missoula Art Museum, they've got a family art workshop. They're making handmade books. So from 11 to 12.30, it's free, and you can make books out of whatever material you want to. Um, Amy Friedman will just show you how to make one. Yeah, well, Amy Friedman is always there showing people how to do stuff, it seems like. Well, that's nice of her. It's very nice of her. Thanks, Amy. I'm... I'm, I'm not jealous or anything. It's like, <laughs> like, if you want to do it, it's your own personal choice. But I say, Grumpy Scott hates everyone that he meets. Uh, da -na -na -na. I hate including, who do things. <laughs> including family workshops. Da -la -la -la. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> God, what a baby. <laughs> All right. Over at the Roots Acro Sports Center, they've got their trampoline jam at 11.30. Um, so this is um, this is a structured dropping class that focuses on, on front and back flip progressions. Um, it's $8 drop-in, $12 for siblings. Over at the Vesperia Book Restoration and Bindery, they've got a secret Belgian book binding class. Um, yeah, and so it's invented by bookbinder Anne Goy. She employs a clever technique of weaving bookboards together before sewing and signatures. Cool. This book lays completely flat when open, so that's kind of neat. Sweet. Check it out, you guys. Hmm. Um, over at Natural Grocers, they are going to be having like a workshop discussion about uh, how radiant skin begins within. So they are going to be talking about having a healthy diet and what things to eat to keep your skin healthy as well as um, defend yourself from harmful UV rays and other age accelerating factors. Yeah, that's a good thing to know. The Missoula Children's, Missoula Children's Theater has got a play going on uh, this weekend. It's called Robinson Crusoe. So it's at three, it's at the MCT Center for Performing Arts. And so uh, it's about Robinson Crusoe's island years after his sole companion, a goat named Wilson, are shipwrecked. Um, so the island has turned into a tourist destination centered around a lovable singing leopard, a tribe of natives known for their colorful coifs, and Friday's Seaside Resort. And of course, the legend of Robinson Crusoe. So in this flashback, his story comes to life beginning with a shipwreck which marooned him and Wilson on the island and then goes into the tourist destination, the, the, how it was today. Yep. And of course, Friday's Seaside Resort is named after his slave, Friday. Oh, okay. Yep. And so this was a book written in the 70s, right? Uh, it was... I think it's one of the older books. Is about, it like 1870s? I would think so. Okay, because I saw 70s, but I didn't see it, it, was, it was 18 or 19 in front of it. It's the, definitely the colonial times. Oh, interesting. When he gets shipwrecked, and he's there for like 20 years. Holy cow. Yeah, I mean, I saw a movie based on it, which is like very loosely based on the book, but it's interesting. I mean, it's, it's funny that his um, companion is Wilson. Yeah. He gets shipwrecked on because it's like Castaway. I yeah. That's probably where they get their inspiration from. I the, would think so. The ball Wilson. Yeah. But anyways, uh, Friday is the name of his um, uh, the tribe person that he saved from um, cannibalism or whatever, because it's a cannibalistic tribe. Mm. Or and then he basically made him call I me mean, like taught him English, but would make him refer to him as master. And then of course later on in the book he says like, master means you're better than me. I don't think so. Oh nice. Yeah. So it's there's some twists. It's it's a good book. I cool. I highly suggest reading it sometime. <laughs> yeah, I want to read it. Mm -hmm. It sounds awesome. Cool. Well, it's now they like, have. It's not like Swiss Family Robinson. Yeah. <laughs> well, now they have a play, and it's switched up and it's tailored to younger audiences. So that's pretty cool. 
Uh, we've got a couple more events before I end. Yep. Uh, we've got open figure drawing over at the Missoula Art Museum at 3. This is from 3 to 5. $8 if you're a member, $10 to drop it if you're not a member. Um, and it's uh, you have to be 18 years and older because the model is nude, but you they ask that you bring your own supplies. Some supplies will be available, but it's kind of first come first serve basis. Uh, the Five Valleys Audubon is going to be trekking to Nine Pipe. Uh, that'll be at the UM Adams parking lot, northwest corner. So it'll be a late day field trip to Nine Pipe area to look for short eared owls. So it'll be five hour. They're going to meet um, at the UM Adams North Center parking lot, northwest corner at four. And they're going to drive out to Nine Pipe and look for um, short eared owls. So they'll be back after dark. It's going to be about five hours. Uh, the Skate Club of Missoula inside the Hive has got an indoor roller skating, skate, you know, <laughs> skate day. <laughs> so they've got lessons on Saturdays from 4 to 5, all ages skate from 5 to 7.30, or ages 10 and up skate from 8 to 10.30. Cool, um, but it closes for the season April 24th, so come learn to skate indoors while you can. Yeah. All right, we've got some music for tonight. Beargrass, Bluegrass will be at the Missoula Brewing Company at 6. Uh, Michael Reb will be at Draftworks Brewing Company at 6. I do believe that's Rockabilly. Uh, Down the Hatch Film Festival will be at the Wilma Theater at 6.30. This is a film fest about, uh, let's see, it's the best fishing films from around the world, of course. Uh, you, tickets are available at the Top Hat or by calling 877-987-6487. Um, and then over at the Downtown Dance Collective, they've got a James Bond themed tango night that starts at 8. Um, it's only $10 per person or $8 per student. And then at the Badliner, this is kind of interesting. This is um, $17. It starts at 9 and it's called Styles and Compete with Chris Moon and Party Goers. And so it's a dance off. It's pretty much a dance off. It's like the best dancing in like hip hop. Um, R&B and fresh underground electronics. So that's that's the music and then it's like a dance-off pretty much So it's cost 17 bucks, which I think that sounds super cool mm. So if you guys are interested in that starts at 9 learn some new dance moves. Yeah, or just watch people Yeah, um, and then Jones and will be at the Union Club at 930 troublesome will be at back at the Sunrise Saloon at 930 and then Ryan Chris and the rough cuts uh, will be at the top hat lounge at 10 and that's the down the hatch after party That's the after party after the fishing movie. Yeah, um, but as always, you can check out MissoulaEvents.net, University of Montana website, The Independent, or The Missoulian for more events going on in your community. I usually get my information from MissoulaEvents.net. I really like um, how um, when um, the Sunrise Saloon brings in bands, they play two nights. In a row. I like that too. It's a it's a good it, it's a good. It, yeah. I think it's good. I like I, I like the idea of it for sure. It's I like, do too. You know, you, it's not always just one night only. I like the idea because it's like the only place in town that actually has a two night showing of a particular band. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I think more places should do it more often. Just kind of like, just kind of get the scope. So the first one is like, oh, I've never heard of this band. People are just like, eh, da, 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 yeah. And then yeah, because most people who um, go on tour, like they stay in like the city for more than one show, mm -hmm. especially if they're going to be on mm -hmm. tour or whatnot. So yep. I think that's very. Um, I think that's. I think Sunrise does a good job in terms of being good to bands. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think they do good, do a good job. And it would be fun to go over there. Like, I never go over the Sunrise Saloon, but it always sounds like they have a really good time. It's well, just like need, a good country ride, time. If you need a ride, I'll be your DD. Okay, because that'd be great. Because I don't drink. Yeah. Not because um, I'm tired of drinking. It's mostly because I think I'm better than everybody else. <laughs> he does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does. There's a little truth to that. Yes. Maybe there's a whole lot of truth to that. <laughs> like, 100% true. But thankfully, <laughs> I'm here to put him in his place. Good. <laughs> but you can put me in your place by logging on to our website. <laughs> Wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash Wakeupmissoula. You see? You, you like how I did the wordplay? That was really funny. Uh, Alright, so and you can also like us on our Facebook page. Um, you can follow us on Twitter. And you could like Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter as well at MCAT TV Missoula. You can check us out on Facebook and to find out more information about our channels, channel 189 and 190, go to MCAT.org. Yep, but of course, um, it is Friday. Yeah, and before as we always for Friday, we do um, a flagship Friday. Yeah. 
I know. I was just like, yet. I was like, uh, like uh, ASAP was like playing the Indian music. Well, but I, it just looked like you were about to end. Oh. I know. I thought so too. And then in my mind, I was like, wait a minute. It's wait Friday. a minute. It's Friday. We can't do that. Which means it's Flagship Friday, and okay. this is a nice eight and a half minute. Um, oh. Video. video from right. Washington Middle School. Of course, next week we'll have CS Porter. This week is Washington Middle School in Lake Forest. Last week was Hellgate High School's. Um, I don't know what did I show. It was the uh, haunting in Missoula. Yeah. But of course, you can find out these videos. We'll post these videos today, after the fact. But of course, uh, without further ado, here is um, sit calm. No wait, sit wash calm. <laughs> <laughs> No. So, uh, that water fountain, is there, uh, there a problem with it? There's lead in that water. Lead. You, you didn't even drink it. There's lead in that water. Psst. Psst. What? Do you have any glitter glue? Do you think I would have glitter glue? I don't know. That's why I asked. You don't know if someone has glitter glue until you ask. Well, I don't. Okay. Crap, 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 crap. Is something the matter? I heard these girls talking about me in the bathroom. What were they saying? I don't know, but I bet it wasn't good. If you don't know, then how do you know it was something mean? I don't like people talking about me. But you were there. That's not the point. I don't like people talking about me unless it's to my face. Like this? Like, you should find out what is going on. When did you get here? Well, I've been here the whole time. Shakespeare lately? What? what? Yeah, well, you see, my buddy Bill, he uh, he, he lived back in the Renaissance, and he, he wrote a whole bunch of cool plays. I only care about lead and water and glitter glue, not someone named Bill. Don't you be dissing on my buddy Bill. He made many strides in literature and art. He's also like the coolest guy ever. If I had a time machine, I would totally take you there, but never mind. Because it should just be me and my boy Bill catching some rays on the beach. What's going on? Did you say you had a time machine? Well, in a way, we all live in a time machine that only goes forward. Boo! Here it is. I ain't going in there. Here is where I heard the girls talking about me. The girls, you said you didn't even know what they were talking about about you. Yeah, and I want to know exactly what they were saying. You're going to stake out a bathroom. Maybe I'll get cameras and find out what's really going on. In the bathroom? The bathroom that everybody uses? Well, maybe not that extreme, but I will find out what's going on, even if I have to break some skulls. Well, I don't want any part of it. Uh -huh. 
Matthew, what are you doing? Keeping it real. Hey, what up? KSA. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, who puts cameras in a bathroom? You gonna steal a turd out of the toilet or something? Well, technically, turds are a uh, map to your DNA and health, but then again, that is very gross. Uh, so, did you get the homework assignment from Mrs. Klokovich? The, isn't she the one that gives us all these weird assignments about, like, talking about our feelings? Yeah, did you get it? Yeah, but the feeling assignment makes my me, makes me feel really insecure. Yeah, I don't really like the whole touchy-feely stuff. Well, the main reason why I take these classes is because the girls really dig that kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't really like anybody here. They've been, like, in my class since, like, third grade, you know? Yeah, I guess I understand that. Uh, the more time you spend with them, the deeper into the friend zone you get. Uh, there's no such thing as the friend zone. They either like you or don't. Yeah, well, there is no friend zone for me. And I can't see. Crap, 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 crap. Did you, did you get the basketball? I can't have any more basketballs. Why? I put glitter glue on them. This recess is never gonna end. It's only been out here for like three seconds. No! Okay, settle down. We're not gonna be out here much longer. Did you just tell me to settle down? Do you know who I am? Listen here, until I find out who's talking about me behind my back, we are gonna do this and do what I say. It's okay, just, just get up. You were yelling at me. Come on, get up, get up. Bye, see you later. Have you been talking about me in the girls' bathroom? Excuse you, no, I haven't been talking about you at all. That's. You been talking about me? Please, no. Keep your eyes and ears out for anybody talking about me in any of the girls' bathrooms. Okay. I knew it! So I heard you got detention for harassing girls over my family. Well, it's a small price to pay for the truth. Do you find out the truth? No! Well, if they weren't talking about you before, they probably are now. Hey, listen, I don't like anybody talking about me. We know. Why are you wearing both glasses? Oh, yeah, uh, I heard some of the girls uh, in the bathroom talking about uh, my me having a split personality. Apparently, I changed my glasses, so I put them both on, and now I don't have split personality anymore. That's brilliant! All it needs is glitter glue. Exactly! What? What? It's a surprise party! I don't know. Mm -hmm. I swear to God, if there's not cake, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> 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 So that was your Flagship Friday video of the week. That was really funny. I really enjoyed that. That there was a lot of good parts in that. They video. had they had good one liners. They had some good yeah. I think good everyone got I think everyone got their own even pace with good mm -hmm. good time. And yep. I think that's the perfect size group is four kids. Yeah. And I loved that they were like he that one kid was switching off his glasses. I got a kick out of that. That was good. I enjoyed that. That was yeah. good. Way to go, kids. You guys yeah, I was funny. just like, okay, so you know, you know how that, you know, Lord of the Rings, you know, like Gole, that's what I told the kids, like, yeah. you know, Golem has like the two different camera yeah. angles and he's two different personalities. Use that with your glasses. Yeah, yeah, that was perfect. I love that he just like put them back on and then wore both of them at the end. <laughs>
<laughs> it all works out in the end, I suppose. No, it was good. You know, yeah, it was, the, and then of course, I, I, it was a happy ending. It wasn't necessarily one of those things where she never find out if they were talking about it. About yeah. They were just talking about a surprise party. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. I didn't even get the but surprise she's still, party. There, yeah, she's still angry. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. She's so sweet. She reminds me of when I was in elementary school and middle school. She's I was really, just like you. I was really nerdy. Yeah, and I had really big glasses. She's really, not really, that nerdy. I was really nerdy, and I was like the nerdy kid that everyone made fun of. Uh -oh. I know, but now I'm a beautiful swan. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so never mind. Screw you, kids. Okay, I'm sorry. Wow. Okay, settle down. It was really <laughs> it was traumatizing. <laughs> God. <laughs> you gotta keep it. I, I, you totally keep it 100 with me. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and a viewing audience as well. <laughs> they they understand. Uh, if you've ever been bullied, you understand how I feel. It is Great Falls. Well, it was, no, it was, you know, I lived not only oh. in Great Falls. I lived in Vermont and California. Ooh. So it was Vermont and California. Never go to Vermont and California. No, people. they'll make fun Ever. of you. They'll call you four eyes. <laughs> that, really? That's it? Well, no, not, that's not it, no. Oh, okay. I'm not going to go into details, though. It's traumatic. Oh. God, Scott, yeah. thanks. <laughs> I like my high school because everybody made fun of you behind your back. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's this like, I'm sorry I made fun of you. Really? Because I, I don't, don't remember you ever making fun of me. It's cool. I made fun I like, of you, too. <laughs> I was like, I never, and then, that, then I would tell him, it's like, well, I never mentioned you, like, at all. Yeah, well, You were I, never even on my... Yeah, radar. Scope, radar. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Which yeah. is even worse. It's like, it's like, well, you know, I used to make fun of you. Well, I used to nothing you. Well, I used to just... <laughs> And not even acknowledge you, so I guess we're even. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. I wish I would have made more effort to be your friend, but not really now. Yeah, not really now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good thing you weren't. Good God. thing you weren't, right? I guess Jerks. people hasn't changed. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Well, it's funny too. Like as I get older, I kind of realize that like all the things that I was so worried about in high school and so upset about in high school, it doesn't even matter. Mm, no. It's just like a flash in the pan. Like it's, it's just such a little speck. It totally well, you is a like flash. This lady in this movie I saw, she was like an ugly duckling in school. She got hot and went and dated all the guys that teased her and killed them. <laughs> perfect! Yeah! I Don't think give I her will. ideas, Asa. I know, that's a perfect idea. Thanks, Asa. <laughs> the, 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 um, the 10th anniversary day killer? Yeah. <laughs> 10th anniversary day killer. That would be a good horror movie. That's like, that would be like the sequel to Carrie. Yeah, that would be an awesome, like, well, cheesy slasher movie. film. That was, a, that was a real movie, so. Yeah. Well, yeah, but right. what if we did it on like the ten year anniversary of high school? That guys, would be like an yeah. awesome. Guys, hang on, that would be an awesome cheesy slasher <laughs> film. Yeah. Okay, whatever, Scott. We should probably wrap up our show. Okay. Yeah, well, we already told you about some social networking. Of course, you can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and our own website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice to me to write it out twice. MCAT, Missoula Community Access Television, hosts uh, um, Saturday drop-ins every Saturday mm -hmm. until Memorial Day weekend, and it's going to be from 1 to 5. It's $10 per kid for age 9 to 13. We're kind of leaning on age, but you're more yeah. than welcome to uh, bring your kid or bring a kid down. A kid, yeah. yeah. And be kid, part you know. of it. And make, make, make videos, make movies. And I already have like over an hour's uh, a worth of stop animation and live action video that we're going to be showing at the end of the um, stop animation season. Yep. And then following that, we have our summer camps. Yeah, we've yes, got we three summer week long summer camps. We've got a wildlife filmmaking camp. We have our stop motion animation camp. And then we have a zombie making workshop for ages 13 to 18, so yep. a bit of an older crowd. Um, but if you want to sign up for any of those, just go to mcat.org and go to our forums tab. Yep. You can fill it's it out all, over there. It's all great. It's all yeah. easy. Cheesy peasy. Yep. And if you want to call us for more information, call us at 542-6228, otherwise known as 542-MCAT. Or you can email us mcat at mcat.org. Yep. But I think that's pretty much it. I think um, so too. We're always yeah. looking for guests to come on our show to talk about upcoming events, causes, or rallies or of, of, some, of some sorts. Of some sorts. To come on and talk about um, what's happening in Missoula. We want to know uh, what's up Missoula, but for Wake Up Missoula. I'm Scott Ramph. And also for Wake Up Missoula, my name is Noel McAvoy. Here's ASAP Adonai. We'll see you guys Monday. Mm -hmm.